All right, guys, uh, by multiple requests, here's a commentary where I'm explaining everything that I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And I'm just going to kind of go through this game and show you basically my thought process. So that's what this video is going to be about. If you, uh, if that's what you're into, stick around. If not, then I have other videos that do other things. Is it worth to build a covers around the artillery on this map? No, not really a good place to build. It's very hilly and foresty, and I don't think they're going to get that far. But maybe Roger. they'd have to take flak pits to even contest our artillery. If we can get some quick defenses set up at River House, if you have support and engineers, uh, it's literally like impossible for them to take it. Just make fortifications all around that garrison. Not too close, so it would be useless, but close enough that anyone spawning on it won't get shot instantly. I'll send uh, my first supply drop to River House. One base down. Already, you're gonna want to adjust a little further back than that initially. I'm gonna point this out because uh, most people don't realize it, but when you're defending River House, it's very easy for them to walk into the circle and take it because the house isn't really in the circle. So remember, we have to defend the circle. Damn it, dude. So here, I'm upset with the squad leader that placed this garrison because he did not place it in E3 as instructed. I have to go change it because if we were to lose River House, the garrison would be destroyed, denying us a fallback to flak pits. Enemies just dropped an airhead, you guys, behind us. Look up if you see it. Foxtrot, be careful, there's a tank nearby right to you. Enemy OP. Okay, I see the airhead. It's This is incredibly approximate, but my OP markers seems to be where it's landing in D4. Do you want me to engage it with artillery? No. Tank with Keep doing artillery. Already needs to be on front line. Roger. Okay, so I just want to make a quick note about the artillery. So you don't want to drop artillery somewhere like if you don't know exactly where the airhead is. But even if I did, I wouldn't put it there because it's more important that we keep the artillery coming from where the steady stream of infantry is coming from. And that's from their front line. So that's where artillery is most useful, wherever the most of the enemy team currently is pushing from. This airhead's not going to get the whole team on it. It's probably going to get maybe a squad on it. it. tends to be how it goes. All right, they just spawned on the airhead, guys. You guys that are all the way down south, y'all need, need to get the hell up here. Get indoors, bomb and run. Get indoors, bomb and run. Enemy bomb and run and coming. Get indoors if you're at River House. Guys, get inside the house. Get inside the freaking house. I'm just dropping supplies here to recover the lost supplies. Mumber? Yep. So I know some of you are thinking, how the crap did I do that? There's a garrison right there. You can't build a garrison that's uh, cl that close to another garrison. Well, on defensive mode, you can. The default garrison's not really a garrison. It's just kind of a spawn point. So you can build a garrison right beside it or anywhere you want. It's, uh, it's always a good idea to get two garrisons down just in case one goes down. You'll see uh, that comes in handy later.
I'll also point out that those default garrisons cannot be destroyed by explosives, so that includes bombing runs or tanks. Nothing can destroy them other than an infantry on the other team coming up to it and holding down F and destroying it. It's the only thing I can destroy those things. He was like, no, you can't do anything about it. So this is the only map where this is a real problem. Because of the hilly terrain, you, you just can't call in certain plane strikes like this. Abe will go kill the guys behind us. Take your guys with you. They're going to be running along the riverbank. Most of them. They could be anywhere though. I'm hoping that encourages them to run over there. That's what they need to do. Uh, enemy dropped another airhead, guys. Yeah, I don't know where the airhead is, but I heard it fly over, so it's falling somewhere. We're losing River House. Get on the point, guys. I actually mentioned this earlier and tried to warn my team. That circle is being capped by just one guy because none of our team's in it because it's just kind of like a field near the house. The tank at River House needs to be destroyed. Uh, we lost the Gary at River House rebuild. Everybody get to River House. Uh, he's not everyone that everyone's dead. You'll have to get back to River House. All right, George, rebuild Harry. Uh, you should be able to build it around my move marker. Um, Artie, are you still there? Yep. Alright. Need some rapid fire going on. Yeah, pretty much you hit your mark just up and down, like, around that area. Like, you can make two marks, so, uh, like, one up. And just hit everything in between those. I'm about to send a recon in. All right, Artie, get my mark. Man, you bombing drone on this? I'm gonna try to snipe their garrison. Hopefully that gets it. But otherwise, we just need to hit artillery. Art, we need art, one Artie gun hitting on C4, edge. one C3. Or maybe one water edge, one artillery mark yeah uh, I sniped their gears oh enemy airhead dropping uh, looks like southeast yeah uh, Uh, Fox, if you want to run to that airhead, I think you're in the best position to do something about it. Did you guys get the airhead? Oh, I see that chat. Someone can try it. Bombing run incoming, enemy bombing run incoming.
Ah, uh, get on the point, get on the point. What you are seeing here is something that can only happen on offensive mode. When the defender point is being captured and time runs out, you go into overtime. In overtime, there are three different outcomes. The offense team can take the point, the defenders take back the circle, or the offenders run out of manpower. If the offense team runs out of manpower, they lose. So, if this happens and you are attacking, you should convert everything to manpower. I did not need to do this because I was defending. As commander in this situation, just stay alive. Your abilities may be needed.